discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here on the range and today we're going to take a look at a new scope put out by Oracare. This is a 525 by 56 first focal plane. They were kind enough to send this out to me and we've been doing a little bit of shooting with it. And I've got this mounted on my Western Air Guns Rattler in 357. We're gonna do a little bit of shooting with it today, a little bit of hunting, and I'll just try to show you guys as much as I can. The Oracare 525 by 56 comes in at 2.3 pounds. The overall length is 14.6 inches and it does have three and a half inches of eye relief. This does feature 120 MOA elevation and 75 MOA out of your windage. This does have an etched glass reticle and this scope can focus down from 20 yards out to infinity. I did want to test the overall durability of this scope. They do claim it to be waterproof and so I sunk the scope in a bucket of water and left it there for about an hour. Pulled it out and found no issue with fogging, found no leaks and so I'd say this scope is definitely waterproof. They do claim this scope to be shockproof as well and I wanted to test that by mounting it on my spring gun which eats scopes for breakfast. Went through about 30-40 cycles and had no issue with the tracking, had no issue with the gun holding zero and so I'd say it's pretty safe to use on the majority of any air gun you're going to mount it to. One of the first things I noticed when I unboxed this is how massive it is. It does come in at over two pounds. So this is not a scope that I would typically mount on my hunting rifles. At least not one that I was going to be hiking around with. But I think if you're going to be hunting from a stationary position or for target shooting, I think this is really kind of ideal. One of the main reasons we get out in the field with these scopes is to really be able to test them under real field conditions rather than just unboxing them and doing a little bit of shooting in the backyard I found that it really helps to get out in a real situation and that really lets me discover what I like about a product and really be able to showcase that to you guys who are most likely going to be using it the same way I am. First focal plane scopes never tend to work very well for me at the lower power magnification. The reticle is much too fine for you to see, but this seems to open up pretty well and I'm able to see it right around six or seven. And typically I find myself keeping it at right around 12, which is a pretty good usable range for the majority of hunting that I do anywhere from 30 yards you know, out beyond 100. As far as the reticle goes, it's definitely something I'm a fan of. It's not too busy, but it's got enough points that you're able to hold on to your shots at those longer ranges, even at the higher magnification. And so I definitely like this reticle. I can definitely see how it would be beneficial for, you know, super long range shooting. The scope does have three and a half inches of eye relief here, um, which is quite a bit, more than enough. And I've got this adjusted and calibrated for my camera. And it seems to lock on here pretty solidly. I like the throw lever, very well made. It's got some good knurling on here. It is aluminum construction. And from what I can see, the fit and finish on this scope is really, really good. This scope does have six levels of illumination that will light up the entire reticle. So it does work pretty well in low light conditions. The focus on this is really easy to get to, really oversized knobs. And the one thing that I can say at the higher magnification at 25 power, um, this is very accurate. Um, I'm able to bracket range with this. It seems to be pretty accurate. And I have verified it with a range finder and it seems to be pretty spot on. It's a bit harder to do that at the lower power magnification, but usually once I get past eight, 
somewhere around 10, um, you're really able to focus this and get a pretty accurate um, range if that's how you're using your scope. These retail for just under $350, which I'd say is pretty good considering what it offers. Um, this is a quality piece of glass. It's a, a big scope. Marley and I did head out and do some ground squirrel hunting on this large permission where I was able to spot a few of them. I wanted to do this to really be able to show you guys what you can expect as far as being able to use it out in the field in a hunting situation. I found that the side focus was pretty accurate, especially at the higher magnification. It was pretty spot on. And I found that I was able to accurately bracket range at the these various distances. Well, I hope I was able to show you guys in good detail more about this scope. Um, I had fun getting out here and doing a little bit of shooting today. We did a little bit of hunting. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any experience with these products. I'm curious to know. Um, as usual, I could care less if you guys buy this. I'm simply showing you um, the best I can with my experience. And I will leave links in the description if you guys are interested. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you guys enjoy this content and you're willing to support us and you enjoy coffee as much as I do, I encourage you to visit our shop page. We have a newly designed labeled coffee from Mountain Sport Air Guns called Headshot. It's really good coffee, and the proceeds to that go directly back into the channel. You can visit our shop page at mountainsportairguns.com, and it's a good way to support us.